As the Ukrainian ammunition expenditure program rolls on and the American population remains transfixed by the right-left World Wrestling Federation January the 6th spectacle, and you know what I mean, the Pentagon quietly does the business in the background preparing to disrupt both Russia and China on the Eurasian landmass. This is the battle for the world island, which we've been bleeding on about since 2018. Good old Halford Mackinder laid it out for us many years ago. Who rules East Europe commands the heartland. Who rules the heartland commands the world island. Who rules the world island commands the world. So, a great way to control East Europe is of course to sit right there in Ukraine. And I'm sure there'll be a couple of US bases built there very soon. As soon as the Ukrainians realize just how bad things can get. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Andrew Torber continues to spew forth his desire for a Kissinger and Associates breakup of the United States in stark terms. I've believed for years that the balkanization of the states is the only peaceful path forward, and in many ways it's already here. The demographic, cultural and spiritual damage to the country is already done. When you radically change the demographics and destroy the Christian values of a country, you also change the culture, laws, norms of that country. And yeah, who did all the changing? Kissinger and Associates, of course. They opened the borders. They wrote the think tank documents. They run the Atlantic Council. Good old Kissinger and Associates. The same people running Torba's same crew. Alex Jones, Joe Rogan, Tim Cast IRL, all related to Dr. Steve Pachanik and Goldman Sachs. All Kissinger and Associates, boys. You'll work it out soon enough. Torba even included this nice map so you get the message. This is an Israeli plan, not an American one fostered by the Kissinger and Associates IIA team, which includes Joe Rogan, Alex Jones, Tim Cast IRL, and a bevy of failed multimedia stars and out-of-work actors who found their political dissident roots, fame, fortune, and a cross-promotion contract. On the other side of the dialectic divide, we have Team Biden and CNN. It's a beautiful, laughable clown system, which always seems to work. Come on. How is he a Yeah. It's, it, uh, yeah. Rick. Very powerless people. <laughs> Whoa. But, I mean, but, you're but, such a minority. I mean, you know, uh, but, please. What but, are you kidding? He's, he's, you're telling me that, that. I'm telling you that everybody who runs CNN is a lot like Stewart. And a lot of people who run all the other networks are a lot like Stewart. And to imply that somehow they, uh, the people but, in this country who are Jewish, are an oppressed minority? Sanchez is just the latest big name to bite the dust for crossing the line with his comments. I don't get it. In August, Dr. Laura Schlesinger used the N-word 11 times during a five-minute rant after a caller asked for advice on race relations. Turn on HBO, listen to a black comic, and all you hear is Nick And in May, veteran journalist Helen Thomas lost her job after answering a simple question about Israel like this. Tell them to get the hell out of Palestine. We'll discuss how the United States military plans to keep Germany, Russia, China and Israel in line. That's why the US is in the Ukraine. Watch them build the bases. But you know, you've got to have a very growly bear Vlad running around threatening everyone. And he's doing a sputendously good job. Let's start with former Secretary of State and CIA Director Mike Pompeo stating the obvious. The United States is fighting the Berlin, Moscow and Beijing Axis, seeking to control the world island and by default, control the world. All via initially the Chinese Belt and Road Project, which is funded of course by the usual suspects, City of London, EU, UK, banking, cartels. No one gets out of here alive. Will it be a multipolar world order as pushed by Russian GRU asset Alexander Dugan? Or will it be a unipolar world island, led by United United States, brought back to its usual relatively normal calm, its state united in the Republic, working hard to actually make sure it actualizes its constitution and maintains the principles of individual freedom? Well, we can live in hope. <laughs> 